hello everyone here we have a little basic uh, tutorial of editing on Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 9 but it works on Vegas Pro 9 uh, Pro 8 and Pro 7 as well I believe I think it's only up to Pro 9 but I'm not sure so to start off as this is only basic I'll have to show you this stuff so new project now you type in the name you want your project to be called so I'm going to call it test for YouTube and then you can go through these up oops uh, yes I do want to override I can go through these things but don't really need to so I'll just click finish and before I start I might as well check my properties that I want so as I recorded well converted my files from my HDPVI into 720p I'll go 720 by 1280 and I'll go 29.97 uh, frames per second as that's what I recorded in now I'll just leave the rest of it how it is and uh, good thing to do is click start all new projects with these settings and then click apply and ok so start off with we go on project media which is one of these there's like a few tabs here you click on project media then you click import media and choose a file so this is where I convert everything into so I'll use oops no I don't want that file I want the one that I've just made uh, ch -ch. so I'll put this file in I'll put it down there so it's a bit easier right as you can see it's only quite a small file so I might as well zoom in yeah. so here you can see this is where the shots fired so basically just by looking at the um, sound you can see and there's your frames just moving one frame at a time as is shown here by what frame you're on and the preview if it says 320 by 12 by 180 would the say if it's got the same resolution settings as that it's fine um, right so to start off with it well it's easier to do this before you start getting into all the editing is to put color correction settings so we go on video FX and then this is my personal settings you go on color corrector studio RGB to computer RGB which just Right, I'll just click on a bit where you can see it. I'll go there. You drag it on. And as you can see, just in the top right, I'll just click it on and off. You can see the difference. All the colours seem a bit more bright and there's a better contrast. So we'll just click close for that. And then colour curves. Go on reset to none. That should give you this. So I'll change this is for RGB for all three I'll change the light tones so they're a bit higher and the dark tones so they're a bit lower everything stands out a bit better and then the last bit of colour correction I like to do is put some sharpen on it which as you can see just sort of sharpens up the image slightly if you were to look at the bullets you can see they seem slightly better when they're sharper so yeah um, next thing we need to do is I think I'll show you slow motion so what we need to do is just before we fire the shot about half a second maybe um, click S which is to split the uh, it splits everything on that line and we want it to stop being about mm, there, click S again. Right, I'll zoom out using this and drag that along. Now, what you do here is you press Control, and then instead of just clicking and dragging normally, you well, you do still click and drag, but you're pressing Control this time, so it gives you that sort of wavy line there. And then just make them meet and that is your slow motion there so we go on to the audio because otherwise you get a sort of horrible sounding sound 
you click on properties and as you can see mine's already done this because I was doing it this morning but um, if you your method will normally be on none so what you have to do is go on classic and then tick this box which says lock to stretch and it should automatically put that in there for you and then you click OK and then if I was to put any other effects all your effects that you'd use are here so like a lens flare I wanted a sunburst effect to appear here but I don't I'll just leave it how it is now um, that's about it for settings don't need any transitions so the next thing to do will be get the top right here and drag it in which is the fade offset so the fade will sort of fade in oops just put it past I'll have to click away and then we can make it fade out and then if you want to change the fade settings you go fade type and go like that which I'm going to do because apparently it makes a nicer fade so yeah fade and fade uh, that's about it for the video for this little clip that I've got so if I just check that I've got everything that I want to have slow mode, slow mode, yep up until here which is where I'm going away yeah I'll do it about there okay so what we'll do now is save it and make sure you don't need to do this but I usually do it you drag that to there so that it only does it only uh, renders that bit and you got project render as and then I'll just call it test for YouTube I've already got one in there don't know why um, yeah so I'll just put a number two after it and then save and it will render that out and I shall show you the results of that at the end of this video thank you for watching rate comment subscribe and yeah thank you and check out my other videos